Hey everybody, Jacqueline from Clearscape Art, and today I'm going to be doing some um, ocean coasters on these acrylic tiles right here. I'm going to be doing a classic blue ocean on this um, sparkly gold beach one, and then I'm going to be doing a Tiffany blue ocean on these kind of pinkish sand ones. First though, I'm going to be redoing this pour that I did. This is a piece I did for a friend. I didn't really like the way this part turned out, so I redid the beach last night, and I'm gonna be doing this again today. Um, I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see anything like that, so I'm just gonna record it and post it, and if you're interested, you can take a look and see how I do it. I'll be using Stone Coat's Art Coat by Stone Coat Countertop. Um, this is UV protection. It's like putting a sunscreen on your artwork so it doesn't yellow. Um, also has about two hour setup time so you can work with it for a good two hours before it starts to harden. Also, um, it's non-toxic and they also have different kinds of resin. This is for art, um, but they also have casting resin for molds that sets up about two inches at a time. And they also have an epoxy resin for countertops if you wanna do like a faux marble. Um, design on your countertops. They're really, really nice. So I will link their website in the description so you can check them out and see if the if any of those things is something you're interested in or if you want to see a demonstration on any of your products. They have plenty of YouTube videos and pictures on that. So always remember, do a one-to-one -one ratio so that your resin sets up the way you want it to. Okay, so for the beach, I used um, Just Resin's Strawberry Shake. Looks like that. And um, I also mixed in Art Resin's Bling It Red Pearl. This is an interference color, so it's gonna give you more of a satiny than a sparkly um, finish, and this is the red. And then I used also Bling It Gold Sparkle from Resin Art. This is your sparkly, um, gold that's in the beach right here. So I mixed those in. Oh, and also I used Colorberry's um, Pearl Collection color and mixed that in as well to give it kind of like a little satiny thing. I, I didn't see much of the shimmer colors in it. You can see a little bit of the gold, but I did think it come, came out as a nice pink rather than a bubblegum pink. Um, it kind of softened it a little bit. For the ocean, I'm using Just Resin's Breakfast at Tiffany's. Nice Tiffany blue color, love that. And for the waves, I'm gonna be using Just Resin's Titanium White. So that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this clear resin and I'm just going to lay down some right by the beach like a strip of it. I'm going to be pouring in my white over it. Actually, I need a lot more than that. So I'm gonna start here and pour this. Um, I'm really a fan of the Just Resins Titanium White. I think that, I think for me, it makes the best cells. Um, if you don't know what a cell is, it's those little holes that the ocean, or the ocean, <laughs> well, yeah, the ocean makes, but it's the little holes that you make in your resin when it kind of, like, these. These are cells, these little holes right here. Um, so, yeah, I'll just pour my white on over that. I'm just going to follow, <clears throat> follow this strip right here. I'm trying to get it as close to the top of my clear resin as possible so that when I blow it out, um, there isn't like a clear blob on top of the wave on the beach because then it kind of looks like you missed something. So I'm trying to fill that in, that clear part. So here goes the breakfast at Tiffany's and just going to pour that 
everywhere. Hopefully I made enough. <clears throat> and I will link this color in the description. It's a beautiful color. It's one of the best selling colors, I believe, um, at least on the Artist Till Death website. It's their most popular color. Can't imagine them ever taking it down. So I'm gonna take my spatula and just spread that out. Be really nice if I could talk to you guys right now, but I need a thousand subscribers to go live. So help me get that if you can. Share this video, tell people about it. Um, watch it as much as you can too. But that's not the only reason I'm doing this. So just wanna watch it just for enjoyment. It's totally fine. No complaints, do, do whatever you want. Um, but with the go live thing, if you're not familiar, if I go live, then you guys can actually ask me questions as I'm doing this. Um, it'll fill in a lot of, um, quiet moments for me and I'll know exactly what you guys want to know and I'll be able to talk to you about it. That would just be nice. This would be nice. Okay, so I'm getting this uh, blue right up to the right up to the clear part of my wave. I'm not trying to get the uh, blue inside the wave or anything. I just want them to touch and connect a little bit. So nice outside, fall finally hit for us, and we have some crazy summers, like gets up to, gosh, gets up to the triple digits here. So I'm loving today. It's just not as much light as when the sun's shining for this, but using some artificial light today, hopefully you guys, hopefully it looks good for you guys. Should be good. Again, if you need to wipe off your instruments, you can just take a rag or a cloth, wipe it off, and then um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, cuts through resin. So that cleans it off really nice as well. Gets all the residue off. Um, but also be careful not to have your alcohol rags by your blowtorch because <laughs> alcohol is flammable as you probably know and you'll have a fire on your hands so keep those two separate here's my my blowtorch from spicy dew i will link that in the description it's nice and flaming. so right now i'm just popping bubbles a little bit but i do like my um resin kind of thick when i do cells because I just find the thicker it is, the more it will kind of have that cell effect. It's not so runny. So I'm not gonna warm that up too much. I'm gonna get my heat gun. I got it set at 200 and, oh, I got it set at 300, which is good. Just warming it up right now. This is a Stein nail. Um, it was $150 and it goes really, really high. It goes up into the thousands. I don't even know how high it goes, but um, you can definitely find cheaper guns than this. You really don't need all that heat and power. Um, Miss Colorberry uses it, so I wanted whatever she uses because I love her so much. I love her work, so I'm going to turn this up to high. It's now at 300 degrees. I'll take this over here and just blow this out. I want to get this line right here at the beach. 
I don't want it to look, I want it to look kind of real and such. I'm just kind of blowing that out. Get that, that line right in there. I guess my friend's daughter has um, her color done in these two colors. So when she saw this, she uh, really wanted it. She's gonna actually take it the old way as is, but I don't know if you're anything like me. I gotta have my stuff looking the way I want it to. Even though they were happy with it, I just I had to have my stuff out there the way I want it to look, you know? I'm probably a little bit too hard on myself, but oh well. That's the life of an artist. It really is. I'm never satisfied. So doing this creates cells. You can kind of see popping up a little bit. I don't want to do this for too long though. You don't want to scorch your resin and cause it to um, to brown or you don't want to scorch it too much. So there's that. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit more the titanium white over here. See that line right there? I just really don't like that line. So I'm gonna do a little bit more white. Try and get rid of that. I'm also filling up the blank spaces of my clear resin. This side I'm not, well, there are some, some blank spaces here, so I'm gonna cover that up a little bit. Putting a little more over here. Get that spot. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> I have this bald spot right here and it's really bothering me. Uh, try and get some white out there. A tendency to overwork my resin and if you're a resin artist you definitely can relate to that but sometimes less is more like that Okay. 
Okay. I think that's good. You guys think you like it? Okay. I may have scorched it a little bit right in here. I don't really see any cells popping up, but maybe I didn't do my resin paste thick enough, which is fine. I think they'll be happy anyway. And then I'm going to scrape the sides here so that it kind of stops the dripping. I don't want my, I kind of want to keep this design. I kind of don't want it to go anywhere. So I'm gonna try and stop it from running off the edge as best as I can. And you guys are probably looking at it saying, I don't see a difference, but I do. <laughs> see a little spot right here. So after you're done with your resin uh, design, just kind of look around, see if you see any, I need to get new tweezers really bad, but see if you see any specks or dust or anything hanging out. Always helps to get that stuff before it sets up. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna. Okay, so see how my resin isn't moving right here? It's because I got it too hot. I cooked it. Don't do that. Don't scorch your resin. All right. I think she'll like it anyway, so there's that. Okay, so for my coasters, I'm gonna be using these plexiglass coasters that are made from, or not, they're not plexiglass, they're acrylic, made from uh, Letters to You. They custom made them for me. Um, so I ordered four and a half inches across wide and then an eighth of an inch thick. Super durable, super, not super big, but big enough to where you can, you know, fit a decent sized cup on it. Um, also the resin I'm using, Stone Coat, can tolerate up to, I believe, 500 degrees. So um, I think a cup of coffee is like 200 degrees. So no problem if you wanna use them for your coffee. Um, the back also peels off. So they come with, with two um, sides, this stuff you can peel off. So peeled these off. Last night I did the beach part with, gosh, can you, okay, there we go. Did the beach part with Bling It Gold Sparkle from Just Resin, which is this right here. And then for the pink part, I did these last night. These take about eight to 11 hours to set up, um, to harden after you pour your resin. So I did the pink part with this Strawberry Shake from Just Resin, right there. Um, I mix that in with Miss Colorberry's OMG Pearl Collection. This doesn't have a specific color because it comes in a set, but it's like a pearlescent kind of pinkish coral color. <clears throat> mix that in with that. I also use Bling It Red Pearl from Resin Art. And um, when you open it, it's like a it's like a goldish color, but when you kind of spread it out and mix it, it comes out like a red. So 
Um, and it's like a silky red. It's not like a blingy, sparkly red. Mix that in. And then I threw in some Bling It Gold Sparkle from Resin Art. And this is what I used for the gold beach part. I just used this for the gold beach part. But I also mixed it into my pink sand part. You can see it's kind of focus. Really sparkly. So that's the sparkle, the Bling It Sparkle, and then there's the Bling It Interference, which is just the silky, um, silky effect, silky color effect. So anyway, I mixed all those in and I got these, this pinkish. You can't really see um, any of the sparkle in it, but it did give it a softer pink, which I like. So that was for that. Yeah. And then for today, I'm gonna be um, using this Tiffany Blue. It's called Breakfast at Tiffany's from Just Resin. I'm gonna be using this with the the um, with the Pink Beach on these with titanium white from Just Resin for my ocean waves and for my glittery gold beach lens I'm going to be using Mermaid. I haven't used this before. This is from Resin Art. Um, it's brand new. Got this from Artist Till Death. They sent this to me which is super nice of them. Um, you know what? I'm going to show you the white part anyway. Looks like that. So this is gonna be kind of like the bottom part of my ocean, the darker, deeper part. And then I'm also gonna use breakers from Mermaid Trash, my favorite blue in all the land. I'm gonna use that blue for up here. And I'm going to try mixing in this galactic blue holographic glitter from Daily Charm, which is a nail company I ordered this from. I didn't really like how it looked on my nails, but it's a beautiful glitter. And I'm going to mix that in with my breakers. See how that, see how I like it. I don't know. I just kind of feel like you can't go wrong with glitter and holographics, so I think it'll turn out great. All right, I'm gonna be really happy. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna lay down some Tiffany blue here on my pink coasters. Just gonna kind of follow this shoreline here. If you have to make a new shoreline because you're your beach flowed down too much, do oh man. Okay, where's my new guy? Spraying this with alcohol, clean it up. Okay. Always, if you drip something and it's and it's um, already mixed with resin, go ahead and clean it up right away because you don't want it to set and have to clean it up later. But if you have a pigment that falls down and it hasn't been mixed with resin yet, you don't have to. Clean it up so fast because it's not going to harden. It's just a paint. So you um, can wipe it off later if you want. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's see. 
breakers. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my waves and what I like to do um, normally, like with my bigger pieces, I'll put down a strip of clear and then I'll put the white inside of it um, and blow it out like that. But on these smaller pieces, it gets a little bit too runny. So what I like to do is just put a little dot. Okay, if it strings along. This actually is kind of setting up already, so I'm gonna grab some fresher resin. Here we go. It's my dot, dot, dot. Okay, have my clear dots down, and now I'm gonna pour my white, just resin titanium white. Make a nice, thick line. Where I want it to go.
All right, got my waves down. Gonna heat my gun to 250. Steinbeck, or no, <laughs> Stein, Steinel, HL 2020E, gets over a thousand um, degrees in heat, which you will never need. I put mine at 250 so it doesn't make my resin too runny um, and it doesn't blow out my cells. So, it's ready, it's nice and warmed up, so here we go. So, what do you think? Pretty good, yeah. over with the torch and then I think I'm going to add some more white to the top part right here because it's kind of kind of thin so heating your resin really helps the cells form those little holes you see right there that make it look foamy and frothy. Those just popped up. I love it. Um, the only thing is you don't want to run your torch over your resin too much because you don't want to burn it and you want that white part right there to stay nice and crisp and white. So. Good. Right there. 
Where's my white? White, 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 where are you? Oh, here. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to kind of fill in some gaps. It's a little bit, uh, you know what? I'm going to warm up this white a little bit. This white's kind of starting to set up, so I want to make it a little bit more fluid, adding some heat to it. It's kind of funny how resin is. Um, it'll make your heat will make your resin more fluid, but then at the same time, it'll also make it set up faster. So it's a delicate balance. Yeah, just putting the finishing touches on these. I like adding white because um, just gives it that crisp white. look uh just kind of tops it off you know all right i don't want too much white at the top just because um i don't want it to look like psh, too thick or like a thick white line these look great these are fine um but the pink i guess i didn't put enough white on them so i'm gonna do this, make this wave a little bit higher. Mm. I actually have some round ones like this on my Etsy page. The people just seem to like the hexagon. I think because it's a different kind of shape. Let's get these. Hexagon's a little bit harder to resin with, uh, just because it's an odd shape. But, like I said, people like it, so I don't mind doing it. I'm warm this up more. And we're almost done. You, got, you want to be careful doing this because uh, the heat can really like, because this is plastic, the heat can like just scrunch your uh, cup up like that really easy. So just when you run your heat over it, if you do, just make sure you're hitting the resin and not the sides of the cup. This one has a little bit too thick of a way right there, but you know what? You never know what people like, so I'm just gonna leave it. All of these coasters are unique. They're all different. It's pretty much impossible to get your art looking, like to duplicate art with resin because it just resin does what it wants to do. You can see the difference in the, you know, the way these turned out. I mean, these two colors, <clears throat> resin just does what it wants. So it's kind of impossible to just make it um, do exactly what you want it to do. So, and it's nice too, because if you ever see somebody's work and you're like, oh, I want to try that, but I don't want to duplicate it or I don't... You don't really have to worry about that with resin. You can just give it a try and guaranteed it's gonna come out different. So, kinda nice. All right, I'm gonna fire these one more time. Pop all the bubbles. If you don't pop all the bubbles, then um, you'll get like these bubble craters. And when it dries, it'll be like, uh, when it sets up, you'll it'll look like pinholes in your resin, and it's not very pretty. Sure. Okay. All right, put 
these in the dust free zone and then what I'll do is I'll come back um, and after about 11 to or 8 to 11 hours I will put a clear coat just on the beach part to kind of level the, these two parts off because this part right here is kind of standing up above this part and if you're going to make it a coaster you want it to be flat um, so after these set up, I'm just going to put some clear right here, let it set up, and then do a whole flood coat over all of these to level them out. Um, if you have any questions about these, please leave a comment. I will get back with you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Clearscape, Clearscape Art.